story of a great queen who has to survive unimaginable suffering, but she does with great grace and great good sense. Hecuba is probably above all a queen, and in the course of the play, she, she is dismantled. I think she's very human right from the start, but possibly stripped away to the bone, possibly discovers even more of her own humanity through great adversity. I play Agamemnon, who's the, uh, the king of the Allianced tribes that defeat Troy. And um, at the time in Mycenae, in Sparta, women were quite subservient. And so really, as he comes in and sees the way a hikey bear is and the way how she is to him, he's never witnessed or seen a woman like this before. So to him, it's a whole brand new thing. But um, he seems to like it, and it's a great challenge for him. It was a really interesting performance, and I think that it's especially relevant at the minute, given all the wars that are going on in the world, especially in the Middle East. It was really overwhelming, in, in a beautiful way, obviously. It really did grip me. Like, the thing I enjoyed about it the most was the imagery, and it's dark. It's obviously a tough story, a story about people suffering, but it's also about survival. It's about very, very strong-minded and strong people coming through a very difficult situation. So there's something inspiring about that. The play's written in very feisty modern language, so there's nothing old-fashioned about it. It moves at a real pace, and Marina has used this sort of interesting technique of quite extended asides to give the impression that each individual character has a very personal relationship with the entire audience. I think it's just an honest portrayal of war in a lot of ways. It's, it's an experience, it's definitely, yeah. yeah. It just left me just thinking, oh my God, that was amazing, kind of thing. It was just incredible. I think the audience will experience an event that it's, above all, extremely live. And uh, the audience are an essential part of that. Mm -hmm.